Dad, I can't believe you left so early this morning without even saying goodbye. Went fishing. Fishing? Seriously, Dad? You could have at least told me. Sorry, forgot. You always forget, Dad. And not just today. You woke up early and left the mess for me to clean up again. I didn't mean to. Getting old, you know. Dad, it's incredibly frustrating that you not only left early this morning without saying a word, but I feel like you've essentially been a parasite, just lounging around at home and relying on me for everything. How could you say that to your father? I just want to relax and get some peace. Sorry about the mess. I'll clean it up later. Peace? Dad, it's like you're living off my hard work and then seeking peace elsewhere. You wake up early, disrupt everything, and then leave me to clean up the mess. I didn't realize it bothered you this much. It bothers me more than you can imagine, Dad. You're supposed to be a parent, not a burden. I didn't know you think of me like that. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'll try to do better. Trying isn't enough, Dad. You need to actively contribute and not just be a bystander in this household. I get it now. I need to change. You should have done it a long time ago, but I'm glad you understand it now. I don't want you to have to take care of me. I can provide myself and care for you too. Actions speak louder than words. You can start by taking action, Dad. I will, my dear. It's never too late to be who you might have been. I'll try my best. I hope so, Dad. Don't always rely on me. I also have my own work to do and my own life to live. I can take care of you all my life. I get it. I never want to be your burden. I'll do everything that I can to help you, starting now. That's what I want to hear, Dad. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. I'll react by being the father you deserve, not just a burden. Hi, Dad. Are you awake yet? Got up early. Where are you? Today is Sunday and you don't have to go to work. Why did you leave so early? I'm hanging out with friends. Why didn't you tell me? I'm just going out and I'll be back for dinner. Remember to prepare dinner for me, Dad. Dinner? Okay, I can do that. And one more thing. Dad, it's been days and I still find you just lounging around at home. I thought you'd have gone fishing by now. You're right. I used to go fishing to escape. But I've come to realize that I need to make a real change. So, I've been actively searching for a job. Searching for a job? Well, it's a start, I guess. But, Dad, it's not just about finding work. It's about not sitting around doing nothing at home either. I understand, sweetheart. I don't want to be seen as lazy or a burden anymore. That's a good mindset, Dad. Because, for a long time, it felt like you were a useless presence around here. You were just sitting around, not contributing to anything, and it made me resent you. I'm truly sorry for that, sweetheart. I didn't realize how much my inaction was affecting you. It wasn't just affecting me. It was straining our relationship. I love you, Dad, but it was getting hard to respect someone who seemed so, well, useless. I understand, and I regret that it came to that point. I don't want to be a burden on you or our relationship any longer. Good, because I need a father who's present and active, not someone who just occupies space. First, Dad, clean up my house. You really need to step up and take care of the house and daily chores. Because, honestly, I've got so much on my plate with work, and I can't handle everything alone. I'll help you out with the housework. You want change? Be the change. Remember that, Dad. I'll remember. And I'll prove to you that I can be the change you need. Oh, I almost forgot. Please take care of Poppy too. She is a bit naughty. Who is Poppy? My daughter. What? Since when did you have children? Why don't you tell me? Jeez, Dad. Poppy is my dog. She's very pretty, so I adopted her. Today she'll be brought home. I don't understand the way young adults think nowadays. Because they're old, Dad. <laughs> Old people cannot understand the thoughts of young people. Well, there's a whole generation apart. Anyway, take good care of it. Feed Poppy twice a day and take her for a walk twice in the morning and afternoon. 
Also, Dad, please teach Poppy to poop in the right place. If she messes up, you will have to clean it up. Besides, I don't like the stinky smell, so give Poppy a clean bath. And clean her potty too. Do all the housework and take care of Poppy before I get home from work. I hope when I return the house will be clean and fragrant. Do you get it, Dad? Got it. I'll try my best to keep the house clean. Okay, Dad. I have to go now. Bye, Dad. Have a safe trip, dear. Hey, Dad. It's me. Finally back from our trip with the family. How's everything here? Son, welcome back. Everything's been okay lately. How was your trip? Oh, it was great. There was so much fun. Glad to hear that. Dad, I've been thinking about your situation here. What's on your mind, son? Well, I've noticed how your daughter's been treating you lately. Uh, she made you do all the housework, right? She's been busy with work. I just try to help her as best I can. I understand, but she can't treat her father like that. She's been pretty unfilial, making you do all the housework and stuff. Dad, you have worked hard all your life, and I can't let you suffer anymore. I don't think it is suitable for you to keep staying there. I'm so glad that you thought of me, son, but I'm fine with that. At least doing those things won't make me think I'm a burden. I think it might be better if you move in with us. We can take care of you properly. I appreciate the offer, but I don't want to be a burden to your family. Dad, it's not a burden at all. Besides, we could use some help with the kids. I see, but I'm content here for now. I don't want to impose. Alright, if you don't want to, I won't force you, but can I ask you a favor? Anything, son. What do you need? Actually, my business hasn't been progressing very well lately. Jack is starting first grade, and we're worried we won't have enough money to send him to the best school. Besides, Jack got seriously sick after returning from a trip, and we're struggling to pay for the hospital and medical bills. Dad, will you help us out financially? Oh, my grandson. Poor him. Of course I'll help out with that. But I'd like to see my grandson and make sure he's okay. He's not well right now. I'm worried he will infect you. Maybe another time. Alright, just let me know when he's better and I'll come over. Yeah, sure. When he's better, I'll tell you right away. But about the money, I need it soon. I understand, but I'd like to see my grandson first. We'll see about that, Dad. If you don't give us the money, you're going to have problems here. I won't be intimidated, son. I'll help you with the money, but not under threat. You're making a big mistake. If you don't give us the money, you're on your own. Dad? Where are you? Why do I never see you at home? I'm at the grocery store, buying some food for dinner. I'll be back later. Dad, I can't believe you washed my collared clothes with the whites. Look at what you've done to my clothes. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. It was a mistake. Mistake? You're always making mistakes, Dad. How can I wear this outfit again? You've ruined everything. I'm sorry, dear. I'll buy it for you, okay? Buy it for me? How are you gonna buy it for me? It's all limited edition clothes. Even money can't afford it anymore. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ruin your clothes. Always apologies. Can't you say anything but sorry? And where's my makeup? I can't find it anywhere. I haven't touched your makeup, dear. I don't even know where you keep it. Stop lying, Dad. My Dior lipstick is gone. I swear I never touched your makeup. Maybe you threw it in the trash when you cleaned it. If it's true, then I'm sorry. I didn't mean to accidentally throw away the lipstick. However, the house is messy, so I might have accidentally picked it up when I cleaned it. The house is messy because you haven't cleaned it yet. You have to clean it all up. Pay more attention to that. I'll clean it cleaner next time. Oh my god! My necklace is missing too! Have you seen it anywhere? Necklace? No, I haven't. Where could it be? Or what have you done, Dad? What do you mean? I didn't do anything. You probably took my diamond necklace. What nonsense is that? I swear, I didn't take your necklace or your makeup. You have to believe me. I don't believe you at all, Dad. You're such a disappointment. I don't understand why you're treating me like this, sweetheart. I've always loved and cared for you. Love and care? That's not enough, Dad. If you want to stay in this house, you need to hand over the countryside land and your savings to me. What? 
Why are you doing this? I thought family was more important than material things. Family is important, Dad. But you've pushed me to this point. You've let me down time and again. I never imagined my own daughter would treat me like this. I thought we had a bond that couldn't be broken. Bonds break, Dad. Especially when they're strained. If you really care, prove it by giving me what I deserve. I can't believe it's come to this. I thought we'd face life's challenges together. Life's challenges? Dad, you've become one of them. You've forced my hand and now it's time to make things right. I don't want to lose you, my dear. But I won't give in to these demands. Then, you're choosing to leave. I hope you understand the consequences of your choices. Dad, I heard you and Sis had quite a falling out. Are you okay? It's been tough, son. Your sister asked me to leave. What? That's awful. You can't be alone in your old age. So, what will you do? Where do you plan to go? I'm planning to move to the countryside, to the old house on the remaining land that your mother and I purchased before she passed away. We bought this land because she had a passion for farming. I want to fulfill her dream by growing crops and living there, surrounded by the memories we shared. I didn't know you had a piece of land. How many hectares is it? About 500 hectares. Wow, that's large. Hmm. Dad, I've been thinking. Of what? Letting you live alone makes me feel uneasy. I'm worried if something is wrong with you. Come stay with us. Your sister made it clear that she wanted me gone. I didn't want to impose. Dad, it's not an imposition. Your family and we should take care of each other. Please come stay with us. All right, son, I'll come. But I hope it's not about money. Of course not. We just want you here. But speaking of money, I've got a business opportunity. What kind of opportunity? I want to invest. If you lend me your savings, I promise to give you 80% of the profits. Your mom and I have worked hard for those savings. I can't risk losing them. Dad, I've got a solid plan. This investment is practically guaranteed to succeed. I'm not so sure about it. I've heard promises like this before. Dad, please trust me. I'm your son. You have to trust me. I don't know, son. It's a lot to ask. Think about the future. We could build something great together. This is different. I just need your support. I need to be cautious with my savings. I can't risk it. Dad, you're being unreasonable. This is a golden opportunity. I've seen too many golden opportunities turn into disasters. Fine. If you won't help, I'll find someone else. That's not what I mean, son. But I can't make this decision lightly. If you cared, you'd trust me. It's not about trust, it's about responsibility. Responsibility? You're shirking your responsibility as a father. No, I'm trying to be responsible for our future. Forget it, Dad. I'll find someone else who believes in me. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. I'll give you the money you need. Really? You mean it? Yes, I mean it. I don't want to see you hurt. And if this means so much to you, I'll do it. Thank you, Dad. You won't regret this. I promise I'll make you proud. Just promise me you'll be responsible with the money. I will. I'll invest it wisely, and we'll see great returns. All right, son. I hope this decision doesn't come back to haunt us. It won't. You'll see. By the way, where are you now? I'll drop by and pick you up. I'm at the bus stop near your sister's house. Got it. I'll be there in ten minutes. Dad, I've been hearing complaints from my wife that you're not helping with the chores. I did. I did everything I could. And you forgot to pick up the kids. Again. What's going on? I'm sorry. Old age makes it hard to remember. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I'll do better. It's not just that, Dad. You need to remember that in this house, you're a resident, not the head of the family. You have to follow the rules. You consider me your father. As a resident? Yeah? You're living in my house, not yours. I understand. I'll try to be more considerate. It's more than that, Dad. In Rome, do as the Romans do. Do you get it? I get it. I'll do my best to adapt. I don't want to be a burden. I hope so. How is the investment going? 
A bit hard, but I still can handle it. How hard? Just lost a bit of money. I know when you're lying. Tell me the truth. Fine, I'll tell you. I didn't use it as we discussed. What do you mean? You said you needed it for a good reason. I thought I could make a profit and give us a better life. Well, that sounds like a reasonable plan. Did it work out? No, Dad, it didn't. I lost it all. I'm in debt and I don't know what to do. You lost all that money? Son, that was a substantial amount. I know, and I'm so sorry. I panicked and I didn't know how to tell you. I can't believe this. I trusted you with all my money. I know, Dad, but I need your help now. I need you to sell the land to cover my debts. Sell the land? But your mother loved that land, and it means so much to me. I can't do that. I understand, but we're in a dire situation. Don't you want to help your son? Debt collectors might kill me. I can't believe you put me in this position. It's breaking my heart. You caused all this, and you want me to pay for you. Dad, I'm desperate. I don't know what else to do. Please, for the sake of our family, sell the land. There must be another way. Together, we will figure out a way to repay the debt. I will help you. Time is of the essence. Finding another way might cost a lot of time. I'm drowning in debt, and I can't get out without your help. I can't do that. The land cannot be sold. It's full of memories of your mother. I never thought I'd see the day when you'd ask me to sell your mother's land. You want your son to die, right? You have no intention of helping me at all. You are so cold-blooded. You refuse to help your son. What are you talking about? Of course I'll help you, but not by selling your mother's land. I can't believe this. You're living in my house. My wife and I are taking care of you, but when I'm in need, you're not willing to help. Just a piece of land. Mom isn't there anymore. It's a common trait among older people to be possessive of their belongings. It can come across as selfish and stingy, and it becomes a significant burden for their children. How could you speak to your father in such a manner? I had been doing my best to not be a burden. Remember, it was you who promised to take care of me and invited me to live in your home. Is this how you choose to treat me? You're showing ingratitude. If you feel like you can't live in my house anymore, then leave. Are you kicking me out? A bunch of ungrateful. Fine, I will do as you like. Don't ever contact me again. I don't have a child that's as uneducated as you guys. Whatever, old man. Hey, Dad. It's been a while. How have you been? Who are you? What do you want? It's me, Dad. Your son. I've had a rough time lately. So what? I have no son or daughter. You got the wrong person. Wait, Dad. Please, hear me out. Right now, I need your help. Why should I help you? I'm still your son, and Jack really misses his granddad. Please, think of your grandson. <sighs> what do you need? Well, I lost my job, and things have been tough financially. And? I heard something about a gold mine on our land. Is that true? Yes, I've been working on it for a while now. It's been quite a project. That's impressive! You've always had a knack for finding opportunities. You know, I've been thinking about getting back on my feet. I just need a little money to get back. Get back? <laughs> get back where? Casino? Don't say things ridiculous. I know what you have done. What are you talking about? I don't get it. I know you are a gambling addict and were fired from your job not long ago. However, you don't go out to make money, but instead focus on gambling. All the money and the house is gone. Your wife also couldn't bear it and left with the child. The two of you are also divorced. Now you don't have any money, so you come to me to ask for money? Over my dead body. Dad, I'm really sorry about that. I've learned my lesson, and I promise I won't make the same mistakes again. Your promises have lost their meaning over the years, and I can't trust you anymore. You lied to me about the money you borrowed and told me you wanted to invest it. You didn't invest at all. You poured all your money into gambling, didn't you? How do you know? I also know that at the time you were lucky enough to win a huge amount of money. Am I right? That's not true. I lost all my money. 
No need to deny. The proof is your brand new sports car. That's not the case, Dad. Please, I can explain. No need to explain. You tried to reason with me, and whether I agreed or not, you benefited. You make trouble with me, asking me to sell the land. If I sell, you will benefit. And if I don't, you will find a way to anger me and kick me out so you can enjoy the winnings alone. Selfish thing. You should live alone your whole life. No one can be with someone like you. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Goodbye. Wait, Dad, please give me a chance. I'll take care of you. Dad, please, I have nowhere else to go. Please don't leave. After that incident, it was revealed that Andrew has gone to his sister's house to ask for money, but she also chased him away. It turned out that both Andrew and Sophia had conspired to take over the land and the gold mine. They had planned to deceive me into letting them come and stay, pretending to take care of me, and gradually seizing control to force me out of that place. What an ungrateful bunch. Fortunately, I was able to thwart their plot from the beginning. It's truly disheartening when your children treat you in such a manner. Perhaps it's because I didn't raise them properly that they resorted to such selfish and disrespectful actions. I can't assist them any longer. They need to experience real life to mature. I hope that in the future, they will change their ways. Well, life continues, and so do I. I still diligently tend to the crops on my wife's land. In the mornings, I wake up to plant and water the crops. In the afternoons, I go fishing, and at night, I stargaze and enjoy a few glasses of wine with my elderly neighbor. Life is truly peaceful. <laughs>